We all good to go? Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I have a media statement here to read out. Uh, I understand that you'll all receive a copy of this at the conclusion of the uh, media conference. So I'm Detective Inspector Vailua. I'm the District Crime Manager for County's Manukau Police. I'm here to provide an update from the homicide investigation launched after human remains were discovered last Thursday, 11th of August, at a Moncrief Ave address in Manurewa. Today's uh, update will be extremely upsetting for the community to hear. So um, I can confirm we're dealing with the bodies of two young children. From the post-mortem examination, it would appear they were of primary school age. At this stage, I have no further information about their exact age, but we're working on it. Their bodies were concealed in two suitcases of similar size. These suitcases, together with a number of other unowned property, were purchased by the occupants of the Moncrief Ave address in an online auction. Early indications suggest these children may have been deceased for a number of years before being found last week. We also believe these suitcases have been in storage for a number of years. Formal identification procedures are still ongoing, which means police are not yet able to comment on the identities of the children. Once this is completed, our priority is to contact the next of kin. We want to reassure the community our investigation is continuing to ascertain the full circumstances around the deaths of these children. This includes establishing where when and how. The nature of this discovery provides some complexities to the investigation, especially given the time lapse between the time of death and their discovery. However, the investigation team are working very hard to hold accountable the personal persons responsible for the deaths of these children. As previously mentioned, the discovery of these children's remains occurred after the residents of the Moncrief Ave property brought unowned property back to their address from a storage facility. We reiterate that the occupants of that Moncrief Ave property are not connected to the deaths of the children. They are understandably distressed by the discovery and they've asked for privacy and we're ensuring there is support in place for them. We will continue to provide further updates as our investigation allows, but as the community appreciates will appreciate it's still very early stages of our investigation. Um, we're still on a fact-finding mission and we still have a, a lot of unanswered questions. I'm now happy to answer some uh, questions, but uh, as you can appreciate, uh, I might be limited as to what further I can provide you. I cannot uh, comment on that at this stage. That is a very um, important part of our investigation, which is ongoing. Are they overseas? I can't. I'm not in a position to comment or uh, give you an answer at this stage. Can you clarify if Interpol or your international partners have been uh, notified about this tragedy? I can confirm that much. Yes, we're working with Interpol, um, and we've uh, commenced inquiries with uh, overseas agencies. Um, I cannot state any further than that. Do you know how long the item, the suitcases and the bodies have been at that storage unit? Have they been there for, the, for years or months? Uh, they've been there for a number of years. Is that, can, can you clarify that, sir, if that's possible? Um, a number of years, are we talking three or four or ten? Yeah, I'll go with three or four. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to say that. Do you believe, do you believe no Yes, we are following uh, positive lines of inquiry in regards to the storage unit um, with the assistance of the uh, storage company. Is that the I cannot say that. Um, look, we've, 
a post-mortem examination is uh, still yet to be completed. Um, there are obviously challenges in regards to how uh, uh, the bodies were presented. Um, the best we could do is give you, um, you know, so that's the age of five to ten, uh, primary school age, and that's about all I'm prepared to say. I cannot say that at this stage. I cannot. Um, some of these questions are all part that uh, form the part of uh, identification, which I'm very reluctant to reveal at this stage until we have further. As I've said, um, we're working on establishing how, uh, when, and where. Can you comment on the state of the bodies? Were they ever No. Um, that information is very important to the investigation, and I'm not prepared to comment on that. Uh, I can say we're making very um, uh, good progress in that regard, but we're not over the line yet, uh, so that I can stand here and uh, tell you that we, we have confirmed identification. What's the CCTV footage As part of the investigation, we are looking at um, canvassing and collecting CCTV, um, but given the uh, period of time that we've just indicated, uh, it's going to be a challenge in itself. Uh, Maybe a, a lot of CCTV might be lost already. Comment on the, the discovery itself. Uh, one, one would assume that human remains have been in a storage locker for some time. Uh, the, the odor itself, and I don't mean to be crass here, but the odor itself would, um, would, would, would put people off potentially. So, is it safe to assume that the, the remains were, were packaged? This was a very premeditated. Um, I can't really comment too much on that, uh, Michael. I'm not in a position to comment on that because of uh, the nature of our inquiry right now. Can you reflect at all, um, you know, as a, sort of, as a police officer of, of, of your sort of experience, uh, how upsetting this is for you personally and also for the staff and the forensic that have been working on this? Look, I really feel for the victims of the fam uh, of you know, the family of these victims. Um, and, um, you know, right here, right now, there are relatives out there that aren't aware that their loved ones have deceased, especially two young children. Um, as for the investigation team, I'll talk to them. There are a number of them who are parents. Um, this is no easy investigation. Um, and no matter how long or how many years you, you serve and investigate um, horrific cases like this, uh, it's never any an easy task. Uh, I myself a, a parent of young kids, but uh, we have a job to do and um, we're doing our very best to um, to conclude the inquiry um, and establish exactly what happened to these two young children. Relative to the That's, I'd have to say that's part of the identification uh, that we're trying to work on at the moment, so I can't comment any further. Um, I can say that there was uh, household items, uh, personal items. Uh, a scene examination conducted at Moncrief, one of the objectives there was to uh, use the rest of the property to establish any, well, first and foremost, confirm the links between the suitcases there and the rest of the property. Um, and once um, we, we confirm that, we also uh, use, we're looking at using the other items to assist us in identification of, of these children. And that is still ongoing. Um, at this stage, I, in regards to the nature of this investigation, probably um, all we can say is there are relatives of the victims who are in New Zealand. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone.